vocal text begins. This fictional opinion piece will be included in Rodney the Rat Plucks the Moon from the Sky, Book 4. Newspaper opinion piece, A Grotesque Family. How to Terminate a Woman's Soul by Matthew Brownfield. Emotionally overcame by it all, I hammered out the following on my computer keyboard. A justified rage? Hannah's ancient husband makes me want to puke. More than puke. Run to the nearest shower and scrub myself thoroughly clean. And he is not the only one who emotionally overwhelms me. His whole disgusting family, and even those associated, are just as bad. They are the most dishonest liars, cheats, manipulative creeps, swindlers, drug traffickers, pompous tax evaders, and dedicated thieves that I've ever had the bad luck to encounter. I pray to God I will never stumble over such a collection of unethical and totally immoral shitheads ever again. They're totally revolting, beyond revolting even. Anna's husband told family and children's services that his wife was insane. My head nearly exploded. What a profoundly ignorant thing to say. Seriously, what kind of loyal and loving husband would say something bizarre like that, just totally stupid? Does that shithole have a credible medical degree? No. Nope. Is he so godlike that everything he says is absolutely and unequivocally uh, true? Not even close. He should get down on his knees and publicly thank Hannah for taking such a good care of two of his great children for more than 10 years, no less. That's right, more than 10 fucking years. If she weren't around, those kids would probably be farmed out to a foster home, but that piss pos of a husband has never thanked Heidi for anything, not one damn thing. No pat on the back to tell her how proud he was of what she was doing. No encouraging words for how Hannah has built a bond between her and the younger boy. He didn't even show any interest when Hannah was diagnosed with double cancer and had to endure some fairly major surgeries, let alone suffer any words of condolences when her parents, when her parents died one after the other. According to her egoist husband, once Hannah is released from the local hospital, he will allow her, allow, to return to her home, yes, her home, as long as she vacates the premises in three months. Three damn months. What the everlasting fuck? Hannah has endured 18 unbeatable ye years married to this Wassel de Mad, and in return he get, she gets three fucking months to gather her belongings from their house. How totally disgusting. Confidential. Some think the real reason he is clear, clearing Hannah out of their house is because he plans to give it to his creepy daughter. She is the one who raised his son arrested for trafficking crystal meth, heroin, cocaine, oxycodone, and MDMA. Of course, all of that occurred after he fathered the two boys that, curiously, Hannah has been raising. Sounds like a real winner, right? The creep daughter seems to be in control 
her little man daddy and soon she'll become queen of 19 acres of social blissfulness a this family is so dysfunctional anything is possible the funniest thing of all though the real contradiction within a contradiction you might say is how and why such a religious man could be so emotionally cruel and unfeeling towards his fragile wife no doubt poor Hannah made a gigantic mistake marrying this Tadamel who comes from a family of frightening malfunctions the scum nearly drove Hannah completely mad nearly if there is a true God I trust this created will be frowning heavily on the shithead and his highly dysfunctional family as for Hannah's younger brother he was wonderful when tending to the needs of both of his dying parents while doing tragically shit all for his frail sister he should feel tremendously ashamed of himself he never will what a cruel conniving and ugly species we are Moral of this track histoire. Fiction is the lie through which we tell the truth. Elva Gamut.